exist in its original form is a question that I used to ask as a Christian because I wanted to know for myself where is the authentic text behind it. Uh, there are many different translations of the Bible and have been for many years. One of the biggest scholars of the evangelicals or of the uh, Christian world, he's a, a scholar of the New Testament. Uh, his name is F.F. F. Bruce. He has a book out and it's called The History of the Translations of the Holy Bible into the English Language. It's, a, it's well worth the investment to read it and see for yourself how many times it's been translated to English, by who, and from what. And the from what is what I was concerned about, because when you say the Bible, we know the Bible says this, we know the Bible says How do you know that? Because if you're going to rely on English, you have a serious problem to begin with. There was no English language even a thousand years yes, ago. Yes, yes, yes. Because English came about after the Normans invaded the Saxons. Mm -hmm. That was in the year uh, 1066 A.D. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, you go back to the time of Isa or Jesus, peace be upon him. That's 2,000 years. Yes. That's 1,000 years before English existed. Not any of the words that we use today are really from their language. Even when we say Abraham, his name was Ibrahim. We mm. say Moses, it was mm. Musa. Mm. And these are Hebrew words you can go to. Right now, go to Israel and meet some of the people there. Go to New York. You probably got more Jews in New York than you Israel anyway. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> ask him, what's your name? He'll say, Yusuf. My name is Yusuf. This is Hebrew. And Musa, this is Hebrew. Ibrahim. And nobody would have said the words that we use. Like Job is Ayub. Yes. So if you don't even know how to pronounce somebody's name, mm. and Jesus, peace be upon him, never called himself Jesus. The mm. word didn't even exist. So for the born-again Christian standing on the street corner calling to Jesus, and if you don't pronounce the name of Jesus, you're going to go to hell. Well, I guess he'll have to go to hell too because mm -hmm. he never said it. None mm -hmm. of his followers ever said it. I mean, stuff it a lot. It's too much. Mm -hmm. But I would uh, remind those who follow the Bible, want to look to the Bible, that the, what you're holding in your hand is a translation. It's a translation of what? And if you said it's original manuscripts, that is not what any of the real scholars of the Bible say, not one. But I don't want to stop before we go any further, and I want to caution you about something, because you know what, I care about you. You don't know me, and you think I don't know you, but you're a human being, otherwise you couldn't watch this thing. You wouldn't understand what's going on. So as a human, you're my brother, you're my sister in humanity. And for that, I have to care about you. This is what Islam teaches us. Mm -hmm. And I want only the best for you. And I'm telling you, just open your heart first before you go out trying to make conclusions. Give Islam a chance. Be honest and wipe out your prejudices. Prejudice is one of the worst despicable things that ever existed amongst humans and it comes straight from the devil himself. Mm -hmm. So if you find prejudice in your heart, get rid of that first. Before you start talking about Quran, Bible or anything else, get rid of that first. Because in fact, a lot of people have looked to the Bible for answers and got really immersed in it. But then when they started to find out about some of the truths that we're going to share with you today, not only they left Christianity, they became atheists. And I don't want that for you. I would rather you stay with your Bible than become an atheist. I'm, I'm serious about this when I tell you this. Because at least as a Bible reading, God-fearing Christian, you've got some kind of chance. But as an atheist, nothing. So this is why I'm telling you this, because one of the biggest scholars that's on the tour and the, uh, the circuit, what they call it for books and so on today, is Bart Aaron. And Bart Aaron has written three major works that are produced and, and promoted published by the people who could care less about anything except money, and he became an atheist. But he used to be one who was insisting the Bible was the literal word of God, as is. And now he says clearly, and he's a scholar of the Bible, one of the biggest scholars of the Bible in the United States, but he says this in all of his books. We do not have a copy, watch my hand, we don't have a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Mm -hmm of anything original from any manuscript. Now that's a heavy statement against 
against believers because that means, well, what are you believing in then? What are you saying? His book, Lost Christianities, Lost Scriptures, and his final one, Misquoting Jesus, are very clear and attacking the very root of the Bible from a scholarly point of view. And this is what I want to caution you as a Muslim not to do and you as a Christian not to get caught up in. Don't do that. Because as Muslims, we know that you can still find the Bible in original format, original language today. It's in the parts of the Quran where Allah quotes himself. Allah is the same God for the Christians as he is for the Jews, as he is for the Muslims. If you get a Bible that's written in the Arabic language on page one, Genesis, you'll find 17 times Alif Lam Lam Ha. The word Allah in Arabic is there. And if you go to the, any hotel or motel on this planet, and go to the, you know, the little uh, cabinet beside the bed and you pull the drawer open. What's in there? A Bible, yes or no? It's put there by the Gideon Society. Take it out, open it, turn about six, seven pages. And look right there, what does it say? They said that they are translating the Bible in these 27 languages. And Afrikaans language is number one, by the way, because alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. And after Afrikaans language, you'll see Arabic. And if you don't know how to read Arabic, I will help you because it's quoting all of the samples in those 27 languages are all from the book of John, the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world. And here it says in Arabic, for Allah so loved the world. Mm -hmm. So we see from the Jewish, from page 1 of Genesis, that's Old Testament, and we see from John 3, 16, the sample here, and we see from speakers of Arabic language, the word Allah is God long before there was a word God. Mm. 